Praise the Lord, church. Thank you for tuning into our Sunday Watch tonight, New Year's Eve service church announcements, my God. And we have not had our church announcements in quite a while, my God. But I felt like as your bishop, we should go out with a bang for 2017 and finish off the year with some church announcements. Always brought to you and approved by the Mother's Board. But I want to thank all of our other boards and ministries and faculty for sliding in my DMs, my God and sending me screenshots and links to this announcement. So shout out to the Petty Ministry, the Deacon Board, Thought Ministry, Ho Ministry, the Side Chick Board, the Marriage Ministry, the Music Ministry, the New Birth Ministry, the Pregnancy Ministry, the Singles Ministry, the I Sleep With My Friends Man Ministry, the Gold Diggers Board, and my husband is a dog ministry, my God. So this announcement has to do with Tamar and Vince and Tamar literally went off on social media yesterday exposing some things and I know most people felt like this past season or last season of Tamar and Vince concerning their marital issues and divorce was a publicity stunt and just for TV but apparently at this point I think we have some confirmation because I'm going to read for you guys what Tamar posted on social media and we all know that she is good for posting and removing. She's like an impulse emotional poster. And I can be at times, but I'm not as bad as her, my God, but I probably would have done something similar to this once my blood began to boil, my God. So Tamar Braxton, who originally had her username on Instagram as Tamar Braxton Her, as in Herbert, only has it listed now as Tamar Braxton. I'm not sure how long that has been that way, but I happen to notice it because of all of the screenshots that were slid into my DMs, my God. And Tamar Braxton posted saying, Vincent Herbert is having a baby and his whore decided, whore, 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 whore. You know, Tamar Braxton loves to emphasize the H, my God. His whore decided to let me know about it tonight. That stupid broke ass whore should check public records on Christmas before she goes through with it. He called back despite of his protection order, begging and lying like he's hanging out with Joe and Roxy from BET. Oh yeah, that's credible. No shade, however, before you judge me, know the facts. He's a real piece of work. Shaking my head. Happy New Year, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, know that 2018 is a fresh start and if I can leave this liar, you can leave yours too. Hey, Bosha, my God. This was a word for watch night service, my God. This is definitely a word. Tamar Braxton then went on to say on the shade room, I believe it was, say what you want about me, but I'm good and I'm goddamn tired of the bull. 2018 belongs to who dares to take your life back. I'm first in line. Oh, I'm next in line for a miracle as well, Tamar, my God. But uh, social media was in an uproar, my God, because of the accusations that Vincent has impregnated another woman, my God, and the divorce is not final. Also, people were assuming that Laura Govan is the one who is pregnant by Vincent Herbert, but I think it may be speculation that it could be Roxy from BET as well, but we're not sure. But I don't think it's Laura because although the gold bands, my God, have had and will take advantage of their share and someone else's share of celebrity dick, my God, Laura hasn't been impregnated by anyone else as of yet other than her estranged baby daddy, Gilbert Arenas. Now there was some evidence and people piecing things together of subliminal stuff of Laura posting about being in love and getting great sex and her glow comes from great sex and she's wearing her man's clothing. It feels better wearing his clothing and it was oversized clothing, my God. But Laura is a pretty petite woman, so any man's clothing would probably look big on her. But people were speculating that because it was oversized that it could have been Vince's clothing. And I do know that Laura is supposed to be a friend to Tamar and Vince. I'm not sure how deep their friendship goes, but there is photos of them together. Although they're celebrities and celebrities usually see each other in passing regardless if they're friends or not. So at the very least, they were very cordial to each other and took photos together. But Tamar claims in a comment to someone who 
commented to Tamar saying, don't feed into this, don't address these hoes, so on and so forth. And Tamar said, I'm not dressing these whores. I'm addressing Vincent the Herbert, my God, unless you're referring to at Laura Govan, my God. And she added Laura Govan and said, oh, by the way, isn't she your friend? Because her baby daddy told me that she and Vince were screwing. Now, I know Tamar is emotional right now, but I don't trust Gilbert Arenas' thirsty, thought, messy queen ass one bit. Now, Laura does have her skeletons in the closet, but Gilbert Arenas is a low down, dirty dog for what he has pretty much put Laura through as it pertains to their children. One thing I do believe that Laura is a good mom. So I would not necessarily believe Gilbert Arenas if the accusations about Vince and Laura are coming from him. And I'm surprised that Tamar Braxton isn't smart enough to not post nor comment or use him as a source because just as she called out Roxy and Joe not being credible sources or questioning that, everybody and their mama should question Gilbert Arenas and his motives, my God. I am still not over his ass for publicly disrespecting Lupita Nyong'o, my God, and calling her ugly and saying that she's dark and nobody cares about dark-skinned girls. That whole thing, that whole fiasco, my God, I am still over it for him being an asshole enough to even publicly post or have an ignorant comment about that on social media, my God. But that's about it, guys, other than the fact that, I mean, it may be true only because instead of Laura making a statement to defend herself, she turned off her comment section on Instagram, my God, because the trolls and the Tay Marshes, my God, have just been dragging her in the mud, calling her all kinds of whores and home records and everything else, my God. So um, I'm more so just bringing you the information because I really don't have any room to say if I think it's valid or not. Um, I don't really know for sure who Laura is dating, who she's talking about in her post as far as who her bae or boo is. And yeah, this is just crazy. We just know that it is 100% over for Tamar and Vince. But, and at this point, if all of this is true, Vincent the Herbert may have been telling the truth on this season of Tate Martin Vince when he said that he's always been bagging bad bitches, my God, uh, apparently. But that's about it, guys. These are your church announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Have a safe and happy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Make sure you go out with a bang and come in with a blast, my God. And please follow me on all social media outlets. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications, comment down in the comment section, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.